am Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry at Romano Scientific in New York and the creator of the Dot Destroyer book and the Orgoman products. I am here today. We're going to do a math problem with mathematician Professor Lewis Boyce. Okay. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Sure. Let's start here. This is going to be a, uh, a couple of geometry problems. In the figure to the left, what is the area of quadrilateral ABCD? And we see that this quadrilateral is composed of two right triangles. And we, if you know your right triangles, your standard right triangles, this problem will require a minimum of calculation. So here we have a right triangle whose sides are three and four, whose shorter le the, the legs are three and four. We have to find the hypotenuse. Well, if you know the standard three, four, five proportions of a three, four, five triangle, you can know that this side of the triangle is going to be five, all right? Well, we can calculate the area of this triangle number from, from that, but we needed the side in order to uh, calculate the area of the, uh, the upper triangle, DBC. Now, in order to do that, we'll have to calculate the value of the length BC. Now, here comes another uh, reference uh, uh, right triangle. You should have, just as you know, the 3, 4, 5 proportions form a right triangle, you should know the 5, 12, 13 uh, right triangle, and you can verify that by the Pythagorean theorem. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. 25 plus 144 is 169, and you can just check that out. But it's good if you just store somewhere in your memory the 3, 4, 5 triangle and the 5, 12, 13 triangle. Okay, what is the area of quadrilateral uh, ABCD? Well, it's going to be the area of, tri of triangle ABD which is the triangle on the left, plus the area of triangle BCD. And that's easy to calculate. What's the area of a triangle? One half the base times the height. So we have, in this case, one half the base times the height, one half, one half three times four. And over here for the larger triangle, one half the base times the height. So let's see, half of four is two times three is six plus half of 12 is 6 times 3 is 18, so the area is 24, okay? Minimum of calculation, okay? Now let's go to the second problem. If the area of an isosceles right triangle is 1 8 what is its perimeter? And we're given these choices. Okay, isosceles right triangle, what does that mean? It means we have a right triangle whose two shorter legs are identical. Okay, there is our isosceles right triangle. So what do we know? The area of this triangle is one half the base times the height, base times the height, which is going to be one half S times S, which is one half S squared. Now we're told that that area is one eighth. So I'm going to set this equal to one eighth and then solve for S. Let's multiply both sides by two and we'll get S squared equals two over eight or one quarter. Taking the square root of both sides, we find out that S is equal to one half. That's the square root of one quarter. Now, what are they looking for? The perimeter. Okay, so now we can label this. S is equal to one half. S is equal to one half. Now all we have to do is find the length of the hypotenuse of this uh, isosceles right triangle. And we're gonna do that by, by the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to have that uh, s squared, s squared plus s squared equals the hypotenuse squared, and we have one half squared plus one half squared equals the hypotenuse squared. That's one quarter plus one quarter, which is one half, which is the hypotenuse squared. So therefore, the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of one half. Okay, so that means that the uh, perimeter of this triangle is going to be one-half plus one-half plus the square root of one-half. But if I look at my choices of answers here, I see that there are no square roots in the denominator, which is appropriate. So I want to rationalize this denominator. So I have the square root of one-half, which is the square root of one over the square root of two, or one over the square root of two. To rationalize this, I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 2 to get 1 times the square root of 2 in the numerator is square root of 2. In the denominator, square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. 
Okay, so finally I can write down what the perimeter is, the perimeter of this triangle. Now I know that the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 over 2. It's going to be 1 half plus 1 half plus the square root of 2 over 2. 1 half plus 1 half is 1, so it's 1 plus the square root of 2 over 2, and that matches choice C. And there we have it. That's as good as it gets. Great job, Professor Blois. I will see you guys in study group. Keep banging away at these problems and see the man destroyer for more of Professor Blois's problems. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.